Hey guys, and welcome back to Always Have Those Monsters. So, I kind of went a little crazy with getting money. Just a little bit. The casino slot's pretty easy to get a lot of money over there quickly. Played till I was bored, even got my suit. Look at that suit. That is so sexy. Now I have money. I have an awesome fucking suit. I'm fucking rich. I don't need your fucking publisher stuff, because I could just cash my ass out on the fucking tables. So, yes, I sound worse than I do today, because I'm getting sicker and sicker, and it's great. So... JC looked absolutely amazing. Just gonna say that. Okay, so I don't know why I pixels don't have the suit on, but they don't. But uh, whoo! So yeah, I'm amazing right now. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's way too hot out there in the desert. I'm gonna get out of here. I should get a rental car from Casiad. <coughs> Ah, oh, so I think I should go back to my room, but I'm not. I'm sorry, I'm I'm really not well. <laughs> but I'm gonna finish this. I'm not done, am I? Maybe I should just get the pack of it out and play a little more. No. Leave. There's always time for me. To... No. No, we're in our suit. We're ready to go to the wedding. We're ready to ring Danny back. Okay, everything's gonna be fine. Everything's great. What the fuck is Sam doing? Where the hell is it? Sam, what are you doing in my room, man? Sam, how come you get nice pixels? How come I don't get room? How do you want these trees? <laughs> come on, Jace. You can't hide it from me. I'll maybe to the bathroom. What the fuck are you doing in my room, bruh? Jace. Uh, Sam, what are you doing? <laughs> look how amazing I look in my not pixels. Your journal, Jace. Where is it? My journal? That's what you're in here snooping for? It's gone. What the hell's gone into you? I don't have time to explain every little thing to you, Jace. Just give me your damn journal. Any of your bad things are gonna happen. No! You stole my boyfriend now. You want my shit? What the hell does that mean? Are you threatening me? There isn't much time. He's gonna be here soon. Uh oh. -uh. There you are. Oh, it's that dude! It's the murderer! The murderer! The murderer from the beginning! Oh, shit. <clears throat> you didn't think you could hide anywhere in a place with this many security cameras, did you, Sam? Look, I can get it for you. Just give me a little more time. Time's up, I'm afraid. Mr. Parker requested a private meeting with you in his office immediately. Will someone tell me what the hell is going on? Who the hell is this guy, Sam? Whoa! Y yeah, whoa! <laughs> Sam, what the hell did you get us into? Look, just be calm. They want the money more than they want either of us dead. What money? Just stay calm and do what he says, alright? Enough talking. We go now. Will someone tell me what the hell's going on? Who are you and what do you want? You can call me Mr. Parker. I run this little casino. I hope to stay here. It's satisfactory, Mr. Jason. Sure it would be a lot better if someone would explain what's happening! It seems as though your friend has a bit of a gambling problem, I'm afraid. Although we encourage guests to succeed to enjoy our many games, we also advocate the use of moderation. Sam here had the privilege of joining us in the champagne room last night with some high stake games. <laughs> Unfortunately, it seems luck was not on his side and has a rather hefty debt that needs. That's why I'm here. A gambling debt. How much are we talking about? Go on, Sam. I'll let you tell him. Ten thousand dollars? What? What? You lost ten thousand dollars playing cards? Yeah, I know already. I thought maybe I'd win some money for the honeymoon and then one thing led to another. For a long, I was doubling down, loss after loss, just trying to break even. It all got away from me so fast. Jesus Christ, how could you be so responsible? I told you, it just happened. It's these two, they must have rigged a game or something. Now I don't have the money to cover it. That's why I was in your room looking for your journal. That's why I need your help. I don't follow. What's my journal got to do with any of this? <coughs> 
my contract with Larry. If I add in, in a first draft, I'll get the money I need to cover my debt soon. Your drill is about as close as I'm going to get to that given the circumstance. If you let me hand that in, play it to my, my work and get to go home without any problems. What? You want to steal my work to pay off your gambling debts? This is insane. What happens to me? That turtle's my one chance at salvaging anything in my career. If I don't hand that in to Larry, I'll be finished for real. If these guys don't get their money, I'll be finished for real. Why can't you see that you're not fucking around? My life's on the line here. Who gives a shit about your career? I'm afraid it's right. This is a matter of life and death, unfortunately. It's not that I'm particularly fond of violence, but fortunately, sometimes circumstances make it necessary. Sam! This, remember that fist I told you about up your ass? Yeah, it's getting closer and closer every second. So that's it, though. You guys just murder people who can't pay their debts? Without consequences for our actions, what does anything matter? Your friend has brought us to an uncomfortable crossroads, but it appears the choice of what happens next is yours. I should decide his life! Are you fucking serious? So what's the deal, huh? Give up my career, let Sam die. It's a little sacrifice between friends, huh? I'm sure if the roles were reversed, he'd do the same for you. No, he wouldn't. So, Chase, what is it? I can pay the debt! I'm not giving you my fucking journal! That journal's my livelihood! All that money! <laughs> I just want all that money and now I gotta give it away! Chip any LD how long it took me to get all that money! <laughs> I hate you. Why don't I just pay you guys the 10,000 and we all walk out of here and little enemies? When the hell do you have that kind of cash? I got lucky at the tables, I guess. It's just money, though. Easy come, easy go. I'm not about to let you get shot before, before your wedding day. Chase, I don't know what to say. Thank you. Don't thank me. I did this for Dan. He'd be heartbroken for anything happy. Well, this is charming, but you two can have your little moment after I get my money. Do you have the cash on you? Yeah, it's right here. He gave me his fucking two thousand dollars. <coughs> so, are we settled or what? Yes, of course. It was a pleasure doing business with you, gentlemen. Uh, Sam, my fist. It's pretty much at the fucking base of your ass right now. Chase. I still don't know what to say. You saved my life there. Those guys are crazy. I mean, who knows what they would have done if you hadn't been there. Yeah, lucky you. Look, I'm sorry that happened. That was a lot of money, Sam. I'll pay you back one day. I promise. Once this wedding's over, I'm going to finish this book and I'll pay you then. We've got my word, I swear to you. Oh, you're going to pay me back. I don't want your fucking money. You know what? I won't need it. That journal you were looking to steal from me, I'm gonna publish it. I'm gonna make good with Larry and make a fortune. Is anyone home? Please not a word about this. <coughs> Speak of the devil, we were just talking about you. I've got some great news to share. But first, where the hell have you two been? I've been all over this damn casino looking for you both. Well, uh, we ran into a little bit of trouble. They had a run with management. Uh, yeah! They didn't take too kindly to Sam's drunken behavior, I guess. Well, I guess it was a pretty good party after all, then. Heh. Hope you got at least a bit of it record in your journal, Jace. In the journal? Yeah, I still want that sucker, you know. I mean, if you're done with it now, it's as good as any to pass it over. I can't guarantee any miracles, but it should be able to make something of it. Uh, yeah, it's yours, I suppose. I don't want to put anything more in here. Yay! We're done with the fucking journal! Excellent, hopefully this election is true, so you look well. And for you, Sam, I trust you're not going to fall so far behind like this slacker. <coughs> no, I don't aim to. Good, good, everything is just great. You said something about good news earlier. Alright, oh, it's Belinda. I finally made a decision. We're getting into divorce as soon as I get back to Beaton. She already knows. Oh, okay, wow. What? Yeah, I know. I surprised myself too, but it's time. I figured I could either keep holding on to those golden days to barely remember, or we can move on. She's been trying to get me to do this for ages now. It's time I let her win. We'll both be free now. It's for the best. I mean, it's a pretty big deal. Hey, congratulations, man. Well, I wouldn't say exactly cause to celebrate. This is just a turn to the next chapter. Heh. <laughs> I guess we all are in our own way. But what do you mean? Well, Sam's getting married, and I guess this finally means you and I are finally settled up. Heh. <laughs> 
after I don't know how long here it is in my hands. I knew you'd come through eventually. That's why I never gave up. It's gotta feel pretty good, huh? Yeah, I guess. Well, we can all talk about this later. I've gotta leave pretty soon. I'm on an earlier flight than you do. Same, if I get to see you again before the wedding, good luck. <coughs> Thanks, Larry. It means a lot. Whenever you're leaving, just tell the concierge at the front desk to get you a car. Just build the room, whatever. They already got my car. Just Jace. Just make sure he gets to church on time, alright? Well, I've had enough of this place for a fucking lifetime. Shoot me if I ever get another deck of cards in my life. Oh, don't worry! I'll shoot you right between the fucking eyes! Alright, bad choice of words. I'm just gonna go back and wait down my concierge. I'll see you down there, I guess. Why do I wear my suit? Why doesn't it look like I'm wearing it? <coughs> my pixels don't work. Touching my fucking journal, you bitch. Time to go win Danny back. <coughs> I could go win some more money, but fuck it. <laughs> I don't feel I wanna. Quite frankly, I saved anyway, so if I fuck up now and go back. A car. Go to the wedding. Time to win Danny back. Time to fuck up the wedding and win Danny back. Yeah. Here, <coughs> Jace. Glad to see you made it back from the casino in peace. That was one hell of a party. I'm not gonna do any voices because I'm just too tired. <laughs> you tell me, guys. The office are pretty impressed with the journal reviewers. I'm really proud of you, Jace. Oh, thanks, Larry. I really think this is gonna be a success. Something just tells me past that point nothing can go wrong. <coughs> anyway, there's folks around and I want to mingle a bit. You should have asked where you're under. Should sit. I'm gonna let show you. That's the usher word you're supposed to sit. They're all assigned. Yes, I can help you find your seat, sir. I think it's our only control. Can show me my seat? Oh, shit. There's still some people I want to talk to. Alright, then. I'll be your opinion. <coughs> oh, here's Belinda. So you made it after all, Chase. I look forward to you objecting this whole thing. It should be quite a show. Oh, she knows, huh? Oh, don't get your penny. Poor and this twisted. I'm just teasing you. It's not like it'd even be the smart thing to do anyway. I mean, all things considered, they'll probably get divorced for a long. He'll get fat and forgetful. He'll start drinking. He'll be wandering eyes. <laughs> Writing's all on the walls. These things never last. <laughs> well, well, well. It isn't my favorite student. How's life outside the prison been treating you? This guy is ups and downs, I suppose. Ah, I guess we're finally starting to understand what I was talking about all those years ago. I'm curious. How did my lesson hold up? about there being no free pass in life. You're right about that, nothing comes very easy. Well, I knew that already. I want to know if the knowledge did you any good. To be honest, I don't know what you expect to do with it. I never expected a handout for anyone to begin with, that's not how the world game works. Yeah, it was worth the whole time, but that didn't change anything. Couldn't it? <coughs> what are you doing here, by the way? Well, Sam and I have kept in touch on and off for a while. He invited me and Rad Radford and decided we could use a vacation, so here we are. So you two are a permanent item now. I guess you could say so. Honestly, I don't think there was ever any possibility but for us to get together. Good for you. Hey, you're Jace, aren't you? Professor McAllister always used to talk about you. I said you were his favorite student. I'm surprised you never met. How's life been for you since graduation? Is the real world everything you thought it would be? It could be a bit of a roller coaster, I guess. So, did Danny invite you to the wedding? No, actually, it was Sam. He invited McAllister and he needed a date. It's kind of cute you two being together. Well, I don't know if cute the best word for the bit, thanks. Truth be told, it still feels like a complete accident we ended up together, but I'm happy. That's great to hear. Oh, hey there, Jace. Got a Sam impressed to see you here. Hey, look, it's Alex's girlfriend. <laughs> if you're looking to hear gossip about what happened to Danny's bachelor party, you can forget it. I'm not saying a word. Jace, I can't believe you're here. Why are you here? Bellinga, what the heck are you doing here? I was at town for a swag fest convention, trying to see if I can make money off of my complete set of indie hero figurines. Went to the show, found a real great dealer who wanted them. Turns out, though, I only thought I'd have to find them all. <coughs> Never a gobble to the others missing, which is strange because I could have sworn I had one. Oh. Wait a minute, now I remember. Can 
Didn't I give it to you about a month ago? I don't still have it. Ah! I could trade that collector and make a ton of cash. Heck, my meal's a poor place to live. No, sorry, I must have sold it or something a while ago. Save the cash, I guess. I figures. That's all right, though. I mean, I don't know if I can part with the collection anyway. Ah, I didn't know! Oh, I'm sorry! It's okay, I collect Vicky's necklace, I think. <clears throat> so, at last, my little boy's getting married. When you adopt a Jenny, imagine what today might be like. Adopt it. Have this little thing walk into my life, grow, and then walk out again. But then I worry that I won't be able to handle seeing another person I love leaving. How naive I was then, this feels completely different. This time I'm happy. But, uh, do you have a song request? Unfortunately, I only know one song. How about you enjoy this one, Ian? Oh, cool. Okay. Sure. Yeah. <coughs> hey, Derek may be a big rock star, but this is one gig you didn't get. I'm gonna rock this wedding with my main man, Dan, over there. It's gonna be an appearance of wedding singers. What's the source? <coughs> Don't you need an instrument in order to be a musician? I do the important work, like the bookkeeping. Don't need a shirt for that. Hey Jace, some party, huh? You know, I've never been able to casino like this before. I know they lost fortune then, I tell you. Must have popped at least fifty dollars into the slot machines. Anyway, it's good to see you again. Yeah, you too. Who the fuck are you? Oh Jace, I didn't know if you were gonna make it. We completely lost track of you and Sam at the casino. Honestly, we were wondering what happened to you two. Who are you? Oh, they spilled money back in one piece. Who are you? Who be you? I love weddings. You know, my calculation is he's gonna have a nearly million words to it. No offense, but I really don't think you're up to the task. What do you mean I'm not up to the task? I split words out faster than the, min the minigun spit bullets. Is it always that so? How long did it take you to write the damn sign up for Crappy Dog? <laughs> well, if it isn't Jace, you've been sugar. Have a been? Just fine. Well, it's good to see you. Can't say I was expecting you to be here, honest. I mean, with how everything between you and Danny went down. Glad you guys are able to at least stay friendly, though. Hey, did you hear about my new band, Lizard Destroyer Team? We're gonna melt so many faces, I tell you. Hello, Jay. So it's good to see you. How's everything going? I'm all right. What about you? Re rehab's been amazing. I should've gone ages ago. Dark has been getting a lot better too. We're still there for a while more, but I think we're done for a good time this time. Yay! That's great to hear. We owe you a lot, you know. I want you to know we appreciate everything you've done for us. I'm just happy you're doing fine. <coughs> you really need to come visit at the point sometime. It's way nicer than it sounds. Even there's junkies all over the place. Jace, it's so good to see you. How's it going? I'm alright, how are you holding up? We have been hell, but honestly I'm feeling a lot better. My first two. We're not out of the woods yet, but I'm finally feeling proud of myself again. That's really great to hear. Eh, who knows, maybe I'll put on a rehab album, I'll hear those big now. I'm just glad you're getting better. Me too. Don't you want your necklace back? I guess I could've sold it. You should play as a visit if you get the chance. Kissing the food's great, but it'll be good seeing you. It should have been a good opportunity for Dark F and I to talk about our relationship. We're finally starting to understand each other a little better, you know? Mm. Okay, guess you don't want our necklace back. That's gonna solve the fucking thing. Oh, I'm gonna save and then we're gonna get the show on the road. Okay! Help you in your seat. Yeah, please lead the way. Certainly, your name, please? Jace. Oh, yes. I do believe you've been signed over here. At the fucking back. Right here, sir. Right at the fucking back. Thanks. Nice to know how important I am. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor to present you Sam and Danny. on the beach, ah! Just fucking noticed that, too. 
Have fun cleaning that shit up. <laughs> Traitor! <laughs> Is this supposed to be a fully white suit? Isn't that a point? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to have you gathered here today for a momentous occasion. A few times in life do we get to witness true miracles, and I believe we are here to witness one today. True love, above all things, is the most appropriate occurrence in the world. Two souls are born apart. They grow independently. They experience uniquely. Yet everything they come to find each other and know each other, well, I hate marriages. I so much hate marriages. <coughs> this is the miracle we celebrate today. Danny and Sam, we are gathered together on this beautiful beach to share in this beautiful moment with you as you exchange vows and everlasting love. Are you both ready to make the commitment to one another today? Yes, I am. Yeah, me too. Now, I do believe you've written vows for each other. Yeah, I'd like to go first. Danny, I knew I was in love with you from the moment I first saw you. You picked me up when my life was at its darkest. You made me whole again. Without you, I don't know what would become of me. The thought of being without you, I can't stand. I know I'm not perfect, but with you, I feel complete. Danny, I love you with all my heart has to offer. No, oh, I promised I wouldn't cry. Sam, my life with you has been everything I ever wanted. In your arms, I'm happier than I've ever been. I look forward to whatever our future together may bring. You are a wonderful partner, and I love you. Lying sack of shit! Sam, you are the best part of my life. I want that fucking hackler at the back. Hey, fucking liar, Sam! Fuck this one, Ed! Fuck your fucking assholes! This is my friend, you stole from me! Oh, you got me going now, too. Fucking crying at weddings, it's so fucking annoying! <coughs> crying couples. Now that the thousand is said, you'll exchange rings with one another. However, before we get to start, if there's anyone who objects to this union, please speak now or forever hold your peace. I object! Jace? <clears throat> Jace, what are you doing? I can't let this happen without saying something. I still love you. I need you back more than anything. My life is meaningless without you. Please, just think about it for a second. If Sam is really what you want, I'll understand. If there's even the smallest doubt in your heart, though, don't make this mistake. Yay! Up yours, motherfucker! <laughs> Sam, I'm sorry. Don't be. It's not your fault, Chase. She's ruining everything! <coughs> no, Sam. I'm sorry. I can't do this. I can't marry you. Not after what Jace just said. What? What do you mean? Please. I'm sorry. You selfish motherfucker! How could you do this to me? We had a life together. We were going to be happy. Sam, I'm sorry. You're sorry? Sorry for what? Everything I've ever had, you ruined it, Jace. You ruined it because everything's always had to be about you. Well, guess what? This is the final fucking straw. You've taken from me the last time. Are you gonna punch me? Sam, no! Motherfucker! You stole from me! Okay? He never liked you and so Fist up your ass. That fist went right up your ass the moment you punched me. It's in there, digging around. What happened? <laughs> Where is everyone? How's your head? It's killing me. What's going on? Well, after Sam clocked you and hit the road, everyone kind of left. You we were out cold for a while. You stayed with me? Well, yeah. Someone's gotta look after you, right? Uh, I guess so. <coughs> so what does this mean? For us? I don't know. I mean, I did just get out of a pretty serious relationship. Please, my head hurts too much for jokes. I guess we're gonna have to wait and see. We could just be making the same mistakes all over again. There's no way of knowing, though, is there? Whatever it is, 
I'm looking forward to it. Aww. Yeah! That is so cute! They get together again! Danny and Jace. Oh. Oh! <laughs> I think I know who you are now! Huh? Sam! So that's it. The story's done. Is this part where I decide whether or not I'm gonna shoot you? I've heard some long and pointless stories in my life, but this one takes the cake. Well, I still haven't known who you are. Yeah, of course you wouldn't. We live in a world where none of the players in the stories could end up here. This little stage we live in, though. No character can escape tragedy. The up and down of the leads and flows forever in a circle. For every high you achieve, you'll pay an equal low. And one time, I had everything I ever wanted, but all things shall pass. <coughs> what the hell is that fruitcake talking about? You know, I don't care these jokers anymore. Pull the trigger and let's get the fuck out of here. If you'll allow me a moment, I'll explain everything. Do it now while his back is turned. You call love without knowing who it is? No, not like this. I have to know where I'm killing first. Ah, knew it. You're Sam, aren't you? What the fuck is this loser doing here? We both made it out of your casino alive, but no one of us really died. Maybe you should have killed one of us right there and then. Perhaps things would have turned out differently. You both needed his love, but in the end, he didn't choose me. Perhaps because I'm wanting him so bad, I've become something less than human. Danny's happy now. Happy without me. Not that love in my life, what happiness is there for me? There is no one for me. There would never be, or could be. I came out here to live in the gutter with the rest of the friends. I came out here to die. You have the means, why don't you just kill yourself? I'm so very tired of choice. I don't have the will left to make a decision either way. That's who I am at your mercy. I'm ready to be judged. The choice is now yours. Jesus Christ, you've lost your fucking mind. Who gives a shit? Blow this fucking head off! Do I deserve the death I long for? Or are we always sometimes monsters? Ah! Ah! That's this okay, that's where it comes from then. Sometimes monsters. What does that even mean? Whatever you believe it does. No. I'm not gonna shoot you. I can't do it. You need help. Lots of help. I'm sorry for everything that's happened to you, but this isn't the answer. You might feel like you deserve to die, but I'm not the one who does it. What the hell do you think you're doing exactly? I told you to shoot this lunatic! I'm sorry, but after all that, I just couldn't do it. I can't do any of it anymore. I quit. Quit killing me, tell you to quit killing! Now shoot this fool before you regret it! I'm done. <clears throat> You're not frightened without your handyman, are you? What? No! I'll shoot you, just wait! That's unlikely. Men like you pretend they have a choice, but you're as pathetic to it as I have become. I pathetic to it. You spend your life on a cusp of decision, but always staying one step removed. With the will to let the minions you control do your bidding for you, you live in fantasy. Tell me, when was the last time you really did anything at all? That's what I thought. Goodbye, friend. I'll see you in another life. Mm. Oh. Happy music! Ah. That was an amazing game, I loved it! So many options you can choose to do stuff! So yeah, I'm gonna still do the Alex uh, version, the, the asshole version. <laughs> okay, so... I like the story that you kind of create yourself. It, in the end, it's pretty much the same. You go to the wedding. You do stuff to get there, but, um... Oh, okay. I'm not done then. <laughs> Next in line, please. <coughs> hey there. You could have these out, too. Can we make it out to Calvin? There you go. Thanks a lot. I don't usually finish many books, so I really wanted this one. And that's my title! Always Sometimes Monsters! I don't usually finish books, though. I think you like this one, then. Oh, I have some loose food. I never read anything that captures a human spirit quite so well. You're truly a master of the craft. 
thank you so much for saying so. It took a lot for me to finish it. Just keep on doing what you're doing. It's great. Well, thanks for stopping by. Oh, even the guy with the fucking old guys there. Hello, gentlemen. Can I help you with something? Yeah, actually, you might be able to. My name's Justin Armakini. This is my business partner, Jake Reardon. Nice to meet you. We run a small video game studio called Vegabond Dog. Alright, well, what can we do for you, gentlemen? Well, we came across your book and had a really crazy idea for a game based on it. Be a straightforward retelling of your adventures, all the ups and downs. Yeah, always sometimes monsters move with big influence on us, and we like to work with it. I guess you can get an interesting option to write to it. Well, make you come out of this thing? How much are you willing to pay for these rights exactly? Well, considering the publicity and sales it's received so far, that is one million sounds. A million bucks? Yeah, well, I'm sure that's a good place to begin negotiations. Of course, we'll have to draw the paperwork and everything, but yeah. I think something could be arranged. Great, we'll have a people call your people or whatever. We look forward to working with you guys. See you later then, I guess. Awesome. You really think those guys will be able to turn this thing into a game? Well, they have done. Honestly, who knows? Wait, see line, please. What happened to Sam? What happened to Danny? Oh. Oh, hello. Raise his eyebrows. I still can't believe it, Jace. I thought I was gonna get married today. Oh, okay. I don't know what to tell you. I'm just glad you're here with me. So what do we do now? Honestly, I don't know. Well, I'm gonna go take a nap. The day has been exhausting. Feel free to see what movies are on the Netflix account today or whatever. Just talk by yourself. I've got something to do. What's this a wedding gift? Might as well take a look at it. Not just let me let things go to waste just because the wedding gift. <coughs> oh, it's from the guys Vegabond Dog. I'm real. I'm real glad Danny invited him. Happy couple. We've come to the end of a long journey together. What always lies for you? None of us know for sure. Only time and patience for building a new path. Tough looks good to those guys. Looks like they gave Danny game cartridge or something. Please enjoy this Vegabond Net video game cartridge. It'll automatically download and update new games and software for your free box. Well, the game system. Know that the $59.99 annual service fee for online connectivity has been wavered. Happy gaming, you crazy lovebirds. Neat, free video games. Might as well go hook this thing up. Sorry, I should have read that. I didn't read that. <laughs> Welcome to the Vivox Home Game System. Ah. Do I really have to play these stupid ass games? How do I die? How do I die? Kill me! I don't want to play this! Ah. <laughs> I don't want to play this! Ah. Okay, so apparently I cannot leave this. I don't know how, but I can't die either. So, yeah, I guess that's the end then. Oh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I thought this was a really fun game. Uh, as a story, you just dress and make your own way. The characters. Oh, there we go. Finally! Can you know? Ugh. Oh, I can finish. Right. So I think this is pretty much you just walk around, do whatever, and stuff. But, um, no, it's been pretty good. The stories, the characters are good. The character development is interesting. Um, the fact that people go through so much to get what they want. Really enjoyed it. Can't wait to play the finish. And Alex is one for the bad side. But, uh, nah, that'll be pretty fun, huh? So, I pretty much can't do anything. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it <coughs> at this point. Thanks for watching, guys. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Um, it's been real fun. So, masturbate. Have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night.